So guys, welcome back to Stranded Deep. I've got so much to tell you guys that's been going on. I don't even know where to start. So I guess we should start with what's been going on. Now in the previous videos, we've been doing pretty good. We've been going from island to island, finding the resources that we need and looking for potential places that we could build a base. Now in the previous episode, we even found cloth, which I'm hearing from you guys is like super rare in the game now since it updated. And of course, the game crashed. In fact, it wasn't even a crash. The game just completely closed on that previous episode before I had a chance to save, so I lost everything. So I've been working from now until then to try and get everything back, but with no success. I've been going from like island to island. Today alone, I think I played Stranded Deep for like, I'd say close to an hour and 20 minutes before even starting this episode, just looking for cloth. I went from this island to this one like at least four or five times just to get everything back here. But this is what we've ended up with. It's not much, but it's a good amount of resources. And I've been using the boxes the way I think they're supposed to be used. There is one thing though. This crab is a dick. Look, I put everything nice and neat around this area and then he makes it his business to just break everything or make it look untidy. And Doris keeps coming to visit and I know he's going to come sooner or later. Okay. Now she's giving me an excuse to chop her up. But either way, guys, that's not what we're doing today. I think, which crate do I have it in? Look, everything's a mess now, so I can't find it. This one has tarps, this one has the rope. Is it this one? Yeah, okay, we need the air tank. This one is just the tools. Medical? I'd like to find some other medical supplies too. This one is the baked beans. I wanna know what this says. Could probably be broken or hit open. Okay, I was worried about that. I didn't know if we needed like a can opener or something. But I was going to use today's episode to try and go hunting for some more cloth, but I think it's just going to take too long. And it's not really too fun to watch stuff like that. So I had like a change of heart that we'd really try and get working on the base. But then when I went over to that island like 15 minutes ago, I noticed these things. It's been so long since I even found those were in the game. I thought they got rid of them. I don't even know what they are, but we're going to go and investigate them today. So that's the first order of business. What we Okay, I need something to drink. Now, as I mentioned on the intro, I've got so much to tell you guys. Like, there's been so much going on over these past three or four days that I need to update everyone because I think it's good. Like, I think everyone should be updated with what's going on in the channel. Right, drop that there. Take a look. How many coconuts do we have? We have two. I'm going to grab two more. I can't use the freaking potatoes anymore because they spoil too. Like with me going from island to island, trying to get the uh, cloth back. Hopefully so you guys, I mean, I would have said something like the game crashed and stuff because no doubt you guys would have noticed, but I just wanted to get back to the same spot we were in. It's such a pain when stuff like that happens. But like I've been telling you guys, there's been a lot going on. Oh, somebody did say too about the sharks. Apparently they're more aggressive now. So I wanted to tell you guys what's been going on over the past few days. Now on Thursday and Friday, what I generally do is try and record a couple of episodes or videos. So you guys have got content over the weekend and for the start of the week, this shark is making me really nervous. I know what you guys mean now by this shark is getting more aggressive. This thing is fast too. This thing is just circling us. Okay, so like I was saying, on Thursday and Friday, I generally try and get content for you guys ready to go on the channel. But on Thursday and Friday that's just gone, my neighbors were having some work done on their home and it was needed so much that they had to use power tools. So it was a bit of a nightmare. Now, normally I wouldn't mind. Normally I just wait for an opportunity for them to finish so I wouldn't have the noise in the background on the videos but they were doing work on Thursday and Friday from nine o'clock in the morning till quarter to 11 at night. So that pretty much wrote off Thursday and Friday for recording for me, which wasn't the biggest problem in the world because I could always use the Saturday and then the Sunday to get more content out. But then on Saturday, when I had to go out in the morning to get some food, my car broke down and it took the best part of around eight hours to get the car into a garage. So today being Sunday is the only opportunity that I've got to get content up for you guys. So if you was looking forward to the live streams, which I know I've been trying to say, I've been trying to say consist, us uh, trying to stay consistent over the weekends with the live streams because I can connect with you guys. I apologize if you were looking forward to that. I promise you guys this weekend coming up, I'll make it my best effort to get a live stream up over on the Twitch channel. If you haven't been there already, guys, I do recommend you go. I think I'm going to stream on Sunday coming up this week. So a week from today to try and catch up with you guys. It's always cool saying hello. It's a much more personal interaction. 
And yeah, so I wanted to write this weekend off. So if you guys are wondering what's been going on, why it's been a few days, that's probably what's happened. I still haven't got my car back, so I'm kind of stranded at home, which is, I guess, an excuse to make more videos while the car's away. So yeah, that's what's been going on. Okay, so we're a lot closer now. I didn't actually realize like how much detail these things had. Look at that, they're, they're all eroded or rusted up. I still don't know exactly what these things are. At f when I first saw them in the game, I thought they were some type of oil rig. But I don't think they are. I have no idea. Maybe it's just an outpost, like a, an ocean outpost. If anybody knows, let me know in the comments. I'm trying to work out what the top of them is. Is it a prison? I've definitely seen these things before. They, they didn't have as much detail. Oh, it's the middle one. But they definitely didn't have as much detail. I remember that too. Like, there was always a break. Where you had to do, like, a leap of faith. I really don't know what they are, though. I'm assuming it's some kind of, like, outpost or something. But I could be wrong. All right. I think I remember... What is that? Oh, shit. That's a shark. I think that was a great white, too. What is that noise? Was it just the whole thing vibrate? Oh shit, this thing is vibrate. If this thing collapses, it would be so cool, but It'd be instant death. Have you heard that? Like, the, the sounds are just insane. All right. At this point, I'm just looking for any other supplies that we can use. I'm guessing if there's anywhere that's got cloth, it will be like a place like this. All right. Just open all the doors so I know where I've been. It's so fucking loud. What's this? Why is there, like pull-up handles there. Okay, so I've just found this room. It didn't have much in there. I think I had some leather and some wood, but in this one, it had some antibiotics, a propeller, and a carb too. I will tell you guys that that noise is really disorientating. I don't know if it's just me. You guys hear that? Let me crouch. All right, I think I should go to that one next. I don't think I'm gonna have enough space. Just listen to how loud that is. I'll probably turn it down in editing for you guys, but that is deafening. Oh, that's so nice. This place would be so sick if we could build a base on this thing. I've said that before, like, I said it with the shipwrecks. And I don't think too many people worry about base building. They just get the basics of this game, which is really the way you should play it. That's so fucking loud. Anything? Oh my god, it's driving me insane. Wait, is that jerry can? All right, there's a jerry can there. I'm going to leave that there for now. I don't want it to despawn if I pick it up. I'm looking for the good shit. Baked beans. That's the good shit. What's this? More leather? I need cloth. Please give me some cloth. Morphine. Another bucket. I don't need another bucket. I'm not even going to bother picking that up. Look, there's all these, like, really weird little passageways, too. Because I'm not a fisherman and I don't really know too... You'd think I would know with, uh, with me living on an island and stuff. You know, the basics of fishing and stuff, but I, I'm, I honestly have no idea what this place is. I've never ever seen anything that even resembles anything like this. I'm gonna go, just give myself a break for a second. It's making my brain jiggle. Like, I know that sounds really stupid, but it, it's, that noise is almost like vibrating my ears. That was really cool at first, but it's a little bit much. Like, going from that to this, it's such a... Oh, shit, what time is it? Half past five. 
All right, let's just get through this as quick as we can. If I can find some cool stuff, please be some cloth. That's what I need. I'm just praying there's cloth. Crude axe. I'm not going to take... Is that a refined axe? It's a refined axe. Okay, we've got another crate. Cloth! Oh, we've got cloth! Okay, uh, what do I need? What do I need? Uh, I'm not going to drop you. You can stay there. Can I just pick the whole thing up? Cool, okay. So we've got cloth. Hopefully that means now that I can make a start on... I think it was a sale. Baked beans, definitely taking that. There's actually some good shit over here. I'm going to have to come back. I'm, I'm turned around too, like, I don't know exactly which way I've been. I think the only place that I haven't been now is the one with the gap in it. So we'll go that next. I actually get a really good vantage point from here too. Like, if you were going to be rescued, this is probably the place where you want to be picked up. Like a rescue heli helicopter coming in. Oh shit. They've added these things. So I think I'm going to have to pull myself up. Here we go, guys. Leap of faith. Jump. Okay. Okay. Shit, shit. Oh, this is terrifying. I hate anything like this. I'm completely exposed. No sharks. Please, no sharks. I came over here thinking that I was going to go and do like a deep sea dive under this. That's really cool, though. I can use the torch to see inside. All right, let's give this a go again. I'm not giving up. We're going to give it one more go. If it doesn't work... Need to go back home. How are we looking? All right, we're still pretty good. The worst thing, or the worst scenario, would be dying. Because as I've said before, I want to play this as if it's a survival series. You know, if we die, we die. I've said it before, but I'll probably carry on playing it again. All right, what do you have to do to hold on to these? Is it... I don't think it's E. I assumed it would just be like space bar or something. Let me put the torch away. Maybe that's going to help. All right, here we go. Oh, we did it! Okay, so if you wonder how I did that, put the torch away, and then just hold the spacebar when you see that, that yellow pull-up beam. Alright, if you don't have good shit, I'm gonna go insane. Because I just risked my life to get over here. Bandages. More medical. I'm starting to need more medical supplies now, too. Oh, machete. Okay, I'll take that. What can we get rid of? I'm gonna get rid of the coconuts. Let me drop you down. I know you guys can't see. I'm just gonna drop all the coconuts real quick. The fuck is there bats in here? Okay, keep eating these. I'm just gonna leave those two coconuts there. This is gonna take too long doing it in the dark. So pick this up. All right, let's keep looking. What did I want to pick up from this machete? Okay. I can always drop the machete if there's more cloth. I'm pretty sure it was for the sale to make a raft with. And when we get back, I'm going to see if we've got everything to make a start on building a raft. Because it's so much quicker getting around, too. There's just nothing else. Well, shit. This place wasn't really worth coming across for. Wait, there's a console there. I've already got it open. There's just nothing else. If I'm being brutally honest with you... Oh, wait. Really? Really? There's just going to be a wooden crate with a fishing spear inside? <laughs> okay. Anything around these? I know I've not fully explored these guys. I can always come back. Okay, guys. So we're back on the island. I'm just going to put these crates down. I think this one... Yeah, this one has the cloth in. Oh, that reminds me too. I need to save. Save game. All right, cool. At least we've got the cloth now. I'm so happy that I chose to bring you guys with me on this episode and that we finally found the cloth. It took me so long to get that back. But on the way from those things over there to the island, I was actually Googling what those were supposed to be. I even typed like sea outpost, but nothing came back. The only thing that I can think they could be is something military, but I have no idea what they are. So if anybody knows, I'd be really interested to know, because I like cool shit like that. Alright, what else did we pick up? We found some morphine. Just going to place everything in the middle. I'm going to organize it when I get time. We've got a machete too, which is going to come in good. 
when the uh, when the snake comes back, I think the machete means the end of Doris. I know, guys, it's gonna be painful. Leave that there. I'm gonna need more crates. I've got a shit ton of beans now. Oh, I hate this. Getting used to the new inventory system is a bit of a bitch. I do prefer this style, but when you're so used to like, it's drilled into you to do it a certain way, it's such a pain. All right, we've got more bandages. Okay, we've got to get rid of that first. Throw them into there too. Okay, we're looking good. We've got plenty of supplies now. I've got the two duct tape too. So what do we need to make a sail? Because that's the first thing that I want to do. Then we can use the cloth. So building, rafts, propulsion. So one rope, one cloth, two sticks. That'll make a sail. Do we have the motor? We've got the stick. We've got don't think I have an engine. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Did I leave an engine over there? Let me just check real quick. Because if I can make an engine... No, I don't have it in there. If I can make an engine, then I can pretty much get around the map as early... No, I don't have an engine. I know I don't. I'm, I'm sure I've seen one, though. I'm going to have to look for it. Okay, let's just make the um, the propulsion. So... Building, rafts, propulsion. We need one rope, one cloth, two sticks. All right, let's do that then. One rope. You're going to pick it up. Two sticks. Okay, and we should have the cloth over here. Grab this. And we are good to go. So now we've got a sail. So go across to this. Propulsion and we need to make the raft first. I completely forgot about that. Okay, let's make the base then. I've got like all this metal over here and the reason I left the uh, the wood over on that weird outpost, which I'm gonna call an outpost until somebody lets me know in the comments, is because I've got all this here. So I've got all this to play with. So let's go back into this. Foundations, uh, rafts. And that should be everything we need. I know this is a little bit tedious, guys, but once we get through it and we get the raft, it'll all be worth it. So bases, let's make that and place that there. Okay, our first base. So now can we make the propulsion? And then at least that's something. You won't go on without a floor, you bitch. Okay, let me see what we need then. See, I don't think it did that last time. I think it was just the foundation and then you could put the sail on top, but I think they've added this. Okay, guys, so we're back, and this is what we've ended up with. I don't know if you guys can tell this, but the sails actually changed on the raft. This used to be a tarp, so I'm guessing that's what we needed the cloth for this time. It looks really cool, too. Like, it looks really authentic. Like, I don't know if you guys can see that. It looks like a really old, worn piece of cloth is used as the sail. I kind of like this a little bit more than using the tarp, but does that mean that we can no longer use these for a sail. So let me go across and check. Propulsion. Okay, no, it's just cloth, and the rest of it's to build the engine with. So they have changed a lot more than meets the eye to this game with that previous update, but the good news is we've now got this thing. Now the bad news is, the reason why it took so long throughout the night was I wanted to make a start on base building, and I don't know if you guys remember the previous episode, I actually found a sledgehammer or some kind of hammer in one of the uh, shipwrecks, and no matter where I look, it's not here. Like, I must have checked each of these crates three times, because I thought I was going insane at one point. You know what, we're going to take some beans, because we've just made a raft, we're going to celebrate. And I've not eaten anything yet, so... Final check. No, the only thing we need for the boat engine too is the, I mean for the actual motor is the engine. So once we find that, we can throw and slap an engine to this thing. You know what guys, we're gonna celebrate. I'm gonna throw these down on the floor. Let me see if we can open them. Look at that, it's a beautiful thing. Pick these up. How much does that fill us up to? Oh, we're full. Okay, so note to self, the beans are amazing. All right, so. I think what I'm going to do then is have a look at maybe making a refined hammer or something? Crude hammer, there we go. Okay, so we can make that. I just need some of the uh, cordage. I do that all the time. You can tell, guys, I'm throwing off my game in this episode because I'm kind of backtracking. 
I'm doing stuff that I don't necessarily do because I'm trying to play catch up. So let me open this, go down to crude hammer and we can make this now. So apparently this thing is what I need to start building with. So where do I want to put my main part of the base? I think this area would be perfect, but I want to put the main foundation or the first foundation like here to go across that way. And then I can kind of surround this area in the base. I'm going to try and make it pretty big too. Maybe if I can, up to those rocks up there, that'd be so sick. All right, so here's where the hard part starts. Try to work out how the building works in the game. So wood foundation, and I want it pretty high. Place you there. Okay, so thanks to you guys in the previous episodes, I knew about this. So when I place the foundation down, you have to use the hammer to actually build it up. And I think that came with the update. So I'm going to place... I don't know if I have enough sticks. Yeah, I'm going to place one more down. Was it the wood foundation? Will you latch onto the side there? So this is what it first ends up like. And then once you do this... Once you find the sweet spot. Are you going to do it, game? You're not going to do it. Why isn't it working now? I think I was hitting the other one. That's so weird. Oh, there we go. Okay. And there we go. So you do have to find the sweet spot, but once you've got it, you can actually build these up pretty quick. And I'm guessing the uh, the other hammer that we had probably would have taken like one hit to do this. Does it still do that thing where it doesn't match them up? That's going to drive me insane. But at least we've got like the foundations now so I know where to build. And I think we're there or thereabouts back to the same point where we were. And we now have a raft and we can now explore more of that weird sea outpost and get more resources, guys. But I think... I'm going to end it here. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your support. And I'll see you all in the next one.